Once you've logged into Matrix, the very first thing you're going to see is this news and alerts window come up. Should there be any relevant news and alerts that you need to be made aware of? This news and alerts window is the primary way that your MLS system is going to communicate information to you all. For example, when we're going to be closed. We're going to be closed on specific holidays like 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and so forth. So when we are approaching one of those holidays, we will communicate the closure through these windows. Your associations will also choose to use these windows as means of communication of special events happening at the association. For example, continued education courses may be communicated through this window directly to those agents of that association. When you see one of these windows pop up, the article that's contained within has the information, but then down at the bottom right corner, you have two separate buttons. One that says read later and another that says I've read this. If you're not going to take the time to read this at this particular stage, then you just want to click on read later and you can come back to it at some other time. If you've gone through and you've read it so that this does not continue to pop up, you're going to click on I've read this. That window will close and then that particular article will not continue to appear every time you log in. If you ever wanted to go back and view any of the previous articles, the news and alerts window at the top left corner of your homepage will display all of the current relevant articles that are available for you to view. Clicking on any of these names will open up the news and alerts window displaying that article's information. The next gadget I'm talking about on the homepage is called the My Listings Gadget. The My Listings Gadget allows for you to see sort of a receipt or a current status of where your properties are sitting. So you'll see a category for your active listings, any listings expiring within 14 days, any incomplete listings or pending listings or any solds that you've done in the last six months. You'll see those categories for yourself, for your office and firm should your broker have multiple offices. The additionals gadget. This gadget by itself it does not produce any kind of information. What the additionals gadget does is serves as a temporary storage location for any of these gadgets on my homepage that I am not currently using. Inside the additionals gadget, you're going to see something called my stats. This is one of those gadgets that I myself am not currently using. If I wanted to bring something out from the additionals box and put it on display, I'm going to put my mouse on that line that I want to activate. I'm going to click and hold and drag out into the open. My stats is similar to additional where it does not produce anything on its own. However, what it does do is serve as a storage location for any statistical reports that you've created in the system. Up to the top right hand side, there's a tab called stats. It's actually the third tab in from the left hand side. Through that stats tab, you can create all kinds of statistical reports, including things like list price versus sales price, days on market counts, and day, days to close type of statistical reports. Once you have saved that statistical report, the report will become available under the My Stats gadget for quick, easy access right from the homepage. Recently used contacts is a rolling 10 count of the 10 most recently used contacts you've worked with in the system. Once you've reached 10 contacts on this list, the 11th contact would show at the top as the new contact, and then the one that was originally at the bottom will rotate out, and the next one in line would be the last one on the list. My favorite searches is an area where you can designate up to 10 searches your favorite does not matter what the reasoning is behind selecting a property as your favorite. The purpose of selecting a property as a favorite is to make it available to you on this homepage via this gadget called My Favorite Searches. My Favorite Searches is a solid 10 count of up to 10 searches you've designated your favorite. You could have selected that property search to be a favorite search for any reason you may have. It could be that million dollar home you're waiting for, or it could be a high profile customer search that you always want to have accessible uh, on your homepage. Regardless of reason, these are here for quick, easy, one click access. All I have to do is click on the search's name to be able to pull up the results. External links. 
This is a gadget that houses all of the different links that would take you to an external resource, in other words, outside of the MLS, for you to access to get whatever information it is you need at that point in time. In here, you will find links to our recorded webinars, to our recorded videos, to any of the university uh, classes that we have, the Form Simplicity Transaction Desk, and several other links to other products and services. Recent Portal Visitors. This is a gadget that I would use in order to keep track of what my customers are doing with the listings I am sending them via my searches. For example here, my customer Sue Queen has accessed her portal as recently at 814 this morning. I can see that Sue selected one property as a possibility simply by seeing this icon here of a light bulb. If Sue would have selected any properties as favorites or rejected any properties outright, the icon of a heart for favorites would appear and the icon of a trash bin for rejected properties would appear. If all my customers do is click on the link to view the properties and do not bother to classify them in any of those three categories, you will only see an icon of a little person. Clicking on this icon will open up what's called the customer portal page. This portal page will allow you to have an inside view as to what your customers are doing with those searches. Concierge. This gadget is a dynamic gadget. What that means is that unless you're actually using this style of search, the concierge box, the concierge gadget, will not be available for viewing. Once you've used this service one time, then this concierge box is going to be available right on the home page. What concierge is, is a different style of auto notification where the standard auto notification style will allow the system to automatically run the search you've saved for any particular customer, locate any available properties, and then automatically sends those properties off to your customer. A concierge style search allows me to regain a little bit more control over that search. It will still automatically run the search and still automatically find results however will not automatically send the uh, results list out to your customer instead the concierge style search will provide you an opportunity to review whatever results are there and hand pick the properties you want your customer to receive the general concept behind the concierge mode is save these types of searches for those hard to please customers those customers that no matter what listings you've sent them they're just not happy with those kinds of properties so you would take a more manual approach at delivering this kind of listing information to your customer having a better understanding of what they're really looking for you can also use concierge mode for those high profile customers that are looking for those million dollar homes you want to have a little bit more hands-on uh, approach to them as well uh, because they're, they're looking for one of those high profile high dollar listings Concierge mode is an excellent option for those two examples given. However, your list does not want to look as long as my list. Concierge mode is a very manual process, meaning that you are going to be re responsible for managing those searches and how and when your customers receive them. So if your list is this long, you're spending most of your day managing searches and sending listings out to your customers versus being out there on the road uh, scheduling showings and going to open houses and meeting new contacts working with your current ones shaking babies and kissing hands so use the primary method which is the standard auto email functionality instead of the concierge mode and reserve concierge for those hard to please and high profile customers market watch and hot sheet your market watches and hot sheets are designed to be your farm areas or in other words set up searches to identify your farm areas some differences between the market watch and the hot sheet are your market watches focuses in on grouping the properties together based off of their status so for the last 24 hour period with the residential property style selected there have been 136 new listings added to the system where for price decreases there are 158 and for expires there are only seven if you're the kind of person that prefers to shop the expires in hope of gaining that business 
you can set up a market watch over your preferred area and easily identify how many expired properties or any other of these statuses there are for that selected area. You can only have one residential market watch, one commercial market watch, one income, vacant land, or rental market watch at a time. So whatever criteria you have set up for your residential market watch is what's going to affect this particular search. If you want to change the area, if you want to change some characteristics about the listings, you would then need to go back into the customize area and make changes to those searches. Your hot sheet groups listings together based off of their property style. So your residentials, your commercials, your your uh, incomes, your vacant lands, rentals, those are all classified as separate ones. I can have up to 10 different hot sheets. And if I wanted to have 10 residential hot sheets in here, then I can put 10 residential hot sheets. If I wanted to mix and match and have three residential, two rental, and five commercial, then I can set it up to run that way as well. Clicking on the customize option down here below will also give way to criteria fields for you to designate your search areas and the types of properties that matter to you and your customer. These two areas are not designed specifically to work with customer facing portals. In other words, there are no automated features to set up with your market watches. These are realtor tools. These are intended for your use so that you can see these groupings of listings at an eyeballs glance just by clicking on something one single time.